Muy buenos días Good morning, a todos los ministros, hermanos all the ministers, y hermanas, and sisters, y también muy especialmente al especial de Miguel Bermúdez Marín, uh, very jueves, de Marín de de Thursday, año, October 20th. 2000, 22. Of this year 2022, it is for sure a blessing and the privilege that the Lord has put us in this tan y tan glorioso, such a glorious time. The time dará, where God will give us that eternal and glorified body which we are so much longing for. Vida, salud, we thank Him for the life, for the health. We thank him that he has sent us his angel messenger, William Soto Santiago. The coming of the Son of Man, the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. Where God brought us that name, because the name is in his angel. Le damos gracias a Dios and we thank God que nos ha provisto este lugar, that he has provided us this place cual, which hace tres años, three years ago dedicamos, we dedicated it hemos estado en estas actividades, and we've been in these activities cabo, which have been taking place vemos, and we Dios see how God has blessed us greatly palabra, through his word a todos los hermanos, we thank all the brethren that hasta el día de hoy han Up estado today, cooperando they have been para que este lugar for this place sea una realidad to become a reality lo que continuarán haciendo what they will continue doing para que in order al for it to reach a total fulfillment as, as for the things that are being finished and thus pronto to soon have that great visit from the sixth dimension in our midst to have the visit of our brother and friend William Sur Santiago with all the people from, the, from paradise. And we are grateful to him that today we are celebrating three years of having this place for the Lord, so that he may continue manifesting himself as he has been doing in these three years that we have been gathered here. And so, he continues showing us through his word all the divine program and all the teaching that is being given to us, which is given and it gives each one of us the rapturing faith. Le damos gracias a Dios and we thank God for the fulfillment of his second coming. La segunda venida del Señor the second coming of the Lord el misterio más grande is the greatest mystery that the human race tiene en este tiempo. has in this time as it was a venida. great mystery in his en first coming. In his first coming el it was hebreo. overlooked. It passed by the Hebrew people. And his, and his second coming will also uh, be overlooked and will pass by the Gentiles. But there will be a group of God's elect who will see his coming as it was foreigned by the forerunner of the second coming of Christ, the Reverend William Branham. And he foreign the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. As he told us in a message, Brother William, he could not only foreign the coming of the Son of Man, he had to foreign the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. And you notice in the message the sign uh, in this message the mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels, he says, he preached it on the 30th of November 1997, it's a series of messages, and uh, we were studying, and we have, we have already seen most of, the majority of them, but I wanted to read this extract, a small portion here where it says, the coming of the Son of Man for the last day is the most important event of all the great events that will be happening on the last day. That is why it is so important to know the mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels in the West. Because 
on his second coming depends the resurrection of the dead in Christ and the transformation of all of us who are alive and depends the calling and gathering of all the elect of God who with a great voice of trumpet will be called and gathered on the last day. Another paragraph says, now we can say that just as God sent his angel, the pillar of fire, the angel of the covenant, in the Old Testament under the ministry of Moses, for the deliverance of the Hebrew people, for this end time, you notice, Jesus Christ will be sending his angel messenger, and the Lord Jesus Christ will be in favor of his angel messenger in the Holy Spirit manifested and also will be the archangels Gabriel and Michael working on behalf of Jesus Christ manifested through his angel messenger. Some people will not understand why the ministry of the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ will be so successful on this earth but it is because it will be supported by God sending his archangels Gabriel and Michael with his heavenly army that is why the scripture tells us that for the end time the archangel Gabriel will arise and the archangel Gabriel will be manifested on this earth in favor of the ministry of the Holy Spirit through the angel messenger of the Lord Jesus Christ where the ministries of Moses for the second time will be operated, Elijah for the fifth time, and of Jesus for the second time. And that is the great mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. And and you can focus everything in the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ and everything is fulfilled there. And if Yes, everything is fulfilled there. But there is a part that will be fulfilled, you notice, after he has left. And it is that manifestation of the ministries of Moses and Elijah, which he did not fulfill when he was on this earth. Because that part of those ministries of the two olive trees, which by the Branham in several places in, in the book of quotations tells us that they will be under that third pole in the fulfillment of the tent vision and they have to do with the resurrection and they have to do with the rapture and also with the decoding of the 144,000 Hebrews which occurs before the beginning of the Great Tribulation. You could not open that, that mystery totally. For example, in a message, there was a message he preached in Cali, Colombia where he talked about what we are going to be seeing and he gave us a little light there. He told us and said <clears throat> that we are going to be seeing later on if those ministries God would, was going to put them in one person of Jesus, one person of Moses, one person of, one person of Elijah, or, or three in one person. And he said that we can leave that there uh, that so that invitations don't arise. And some people begin to say, no, I am so and so, I am so and so, I am so and so. That was left to be opened in the fulfillment of the Great Cathedral, where God would be fulfilling His coming totally. And one of the things being done throughout all these years was, for example, the institution of the Holy Supper, the Lord's Supper. You notice something very important here in First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 26, it says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. 
after the same manner also took the cup where he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye, as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. And he writes, Until the second coming of Christ. And you notice that this came to a certain moment where he stopped having that activity, both the baptisms, the altar callings, in that part, in that stage, the altar calls to receive the Lord, the baptisms in water, for a communion and the washing of feet. He seized that stage because already you notice Jesus had said it until he comes. And if he says until he comes, then by that time God was already fully fulfilling his coming which was promised by God through the prophets and most especially and most openly by the Reverend William Branham where he said and explained and gave the revelation up to where God allowed him that the coming of the Son of Man would, would be with his angels and the coming of the Son of Man had to do with his angels in order to be completed on this earth. Remember that it begins from when he is born until the time comes when God already uses him, uses that veil of flesh to fulfill what he already predestined from before the foundation of the world, fulfill the purpose for which God since Hablando that human being are uh, speaking y on behalf la del Hijo del uh, of the messengers of God Vean and the coming of the Son of Man with his angels, you notice that institution of the Holy Supper was fulfilled up to a certain point. That means that the coming of the Lord ya was already totally fulfilled. O sea, la del In other words, he covered the coming of the Son of Man and he covered also coming with no his angels. We cannot separate two things. The first coming of the Lord is the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. And that is the mystery which in the Gwitten Cathedral will be open each day, day by day, so that we can understand that great mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels, of the seventh seal, being open to the public. You notice what it tells us here in the message, the future home. On page una partecita aquí les ha hecho patia él está haciendo la oración he's making a prayer ya terminando pero hay una de la misma already finishing but after de la misma oración after the prayer él también he begins to luego de la oración empieza a cantar to sing a chorus or a song y dice and in Patia it says, what a joy that will be when my Savior is seen in that beautiful city of gold. Then he writes, we are fine tanned gold. The bear will be gentle and the wolf will be tame. And the lion shall lay down by the lamb. And the beast from the wild will be led by a child. And he writes, by Moses and Elijah, by whom will God be leading his people in this end time? It will be by those ministries, by Moses and Elijah, in the route to that glorious millennial kingdom. 
Mire la labor, una de las labores you notice de the work or one of the ministerios the labors of those ministries y nos dice también and he also tells us en el mensaje in the en message pie ante la presencia del standing de in the presence of the son siglo, of man at the end of the world el 4 de mayo del 1997 1997 en May, Puerto Rico y en calle Puerto Rico ahora Says now, I do not tell you that all people will accept the coming of the Son of Man with His angels, but I tell you that there will be a struggle, a struggle as there was always a struggle in the past when God sent a dispensational prophet. There was always a struggle. Even at the first coming of Christ, there was a struggle. And many religious leaders rose up against Jesus, the same ones who were waiting for the coming of the Messiah, the coming of Christ. Many of them, most of them stood up against Jesus, and they said that he was Beelzebub, that he was the prince of demons, and that he had demons, and that he was a madman, and that he was breaking the law, and they said, this one shall not reign over us. Now, among the Gentiles, there will be a struggle parallel to the struggle of the first coming of Christ, and there will be religious leaders of Christianity who will rise up against the coming of the Son of Man with his angels, because they will not understand it. You notice, how God tells us here through the Reverend William Branham that there is a group that would say because we have that representation on page 32 of this same message, the future home says, notice Notice how we go after the world is fire baptism, all germs is gone, makes it a fit place then for heaven to trade here on earth, type now of sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, passed from this dirty like the little woman was into the expressed attribute of God. Now we are the sons of God. Not we will be, we are the attributes of God's thinking. See? He writes the attributes of God. Now you say, well, look at this priest. Wasn't he a son of God? It proved he wasn't. And he writes the trial. He couldn't recognize what? Did he say, I believe the Bible? Pero no sure, pudo but he couldn't la recognize the expressed word de la hora. of the hour. Él tenía he only had an intellectual learning grupo que había from some group de él. that had Pero been back before him. And then he writes intellectual teaching. And it is the same thing today, see? I know that's strong, but it is the truth. There was the word. As spoken exactly for that day. And he, yet he was a scholar, yet he was a known person, but he could not recognize it. Why? No matter how scholar he was, anything like that, he still didn't have representation of predestination, see? Only the predestinated will only be the ones who does it. Only can be. See? Who are those that will comprehend, that will understand, who will recognize the mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels? Those who are predestined, those who have the representation there, in the sixth dimension, that representation comes from the seventh dimension, because we have come from that great theophany, and you can only do it. Because look, it proves predestination. Because if you have got it in life, you had to be part of God all times. Because He's the only one that is eternal. You see it? Oh my. Thinking of it. Now, watch what happens through the great millennium. See, or gone, millennium now, see it, now in the, the Holy Spirit text, uh, Holy Spirit takes its place, and he writes, representation in the seventh dimension, 
los que en este tiempo final the, the elect of God are the ones who in this end time would be understanding the coming of the Son of Man with His angels because they have that representation there in the seventh dimension which is which is in the sixth dimension when we received the fulfillment of the first coming of Christ and we understood it. We understood it, we received it. Con el cuerpo eterno y glorificado. Will be with the Vamos and a recibir. Body. We are going to receive it. And we are understanding it. And we are receiving it. El the fulfillment de la de la of the coming of the Son of Man with His angels. And therefore, that will give us the rapturing faith. The faith to be transformed. It will give us that eternal and glorified body. Y ya para culminar, vamos a leer aquí en Now to este finish, let's read here página, in this same message y, on página 24 y 25, on page 20 to 21 dice, in the English book The Future hay Home en la mente que hubo says en Cristo, que hay en la mente que hubo uh, en Cristo? let Vea, the mind that was in Christ be new let the mind that was in Christ be new see then it isn't your thinking it is thinking through you and you are not expressing your own words you are expressing his words expressing his words through you that's how many times the brethren gets confused on interpretation of tongues and things see they say things that's not right they don't realize that that's Satan you say in the garden of Eden just wait till we get through Uh, find out if it's not or not. The weeds and the wheat grow in the same field. They both live by the same sun and the same rain, see? But if there be one among you who is a prophet, I, the Lord, will speak to him. And if what he says happens, then that's me, see? Because he's not expressing his own. He's expressing my thoughts, my attributes of the things that has to come. And I will use his mouth to express them by. And do you see how God speaks humanos, his thoughts to human beings boca, through the mouth of his instruments, agentes, his ambassadorial agents here on earth. Y después, ¿qué les ha dicho? And after I said them, they have got to come to pass. Heavens and earth will pass away, but my words never fail. He writes thoughts, carne. expression, flesh. I just said, a virgin shall conceive. That said was it. She's going to conceive. What God said, he does. Or, oh, make known by his prophets of all his manifestation, because it's his attributes of his, of his thoughts expressed. Now there it was, in this little woman, who was one of his attributes, see? And there was the priest representing the light. He had learned it from the Bible. He had learned that God was God. He had learned that holiness was right. He was learned that there was a law of God. He had learned it because of intellectual conception. He writes intellectual teachings. And he was born in the right lineage. He was a Levite. But he only knew it by intellectual conception. And when the light of the hour, see, he landed by what had happened, not what was happening. Uh, what had happened, and when he found what was happening, his denomination said nothing about it. Therefore, he had no representation of it. And then he writes representation. He also writes, learn by intellect what had happened, not what was happening. But here was the Redeemer on earth at that time, redeem those attributes of God, and she, and she received it. Uh, that woman, Sí recibió porque sí lo recibió she y sí entendió quién era Jesús she received porque him ella tenía and she didn't understand who Jesus was because she had that representation y en este tiempo, that this time todos los que estarán all those who will be understanding 
el programa divino the divine lo que program Dios está en medio what God is doing iglesia, in the midst of his church in the habló, fulfillment of what the Reverend William Branham, Branham spoke and prophesied en una, en una where in a great and cathedral would be y a preaching and teaching about copa, la plaga, the vials, the plagues, the trumpets, the rapturing faith, all that would be given. And also by our, our brother, our beloved brother William Santiago, who also spoke to us more extensively about all these promises and prophecies that God would be fulfilling in the midst of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, those who would be seeing what was promised, and they are seeing it with their own eyes, and they are receiving it, and they are understanding and comprehending it, it is because they have that representation in the seventh dimension. The representation in the seventh dimension. That has been the, the, the short greeting of this day, where we celebrate three years in the Gutenberg Cathedral. And we thank our Heavenly Father for sending us his angel messenger, the coming of the Son of Man, the fulfillment of his second coming in our dear brother and friend, William Soto Santiago.